Hey YouTube, Des here with another intermediate tutorial for FIFA 15. And today we're going to be going over dribbling. Um, you're going to have to forgive me, I've been sick the past three days now. Um, I was going to do this tutorial yesterday, but I thought, no, nah, I'll, I'll be better tomorrow, but it's still not getting better, so hopefully my voice isn't too like nasally and stuff like that for you guys. But um, this tutorial is going to be, it's going to be kind of simple. We're just going to be talking about ideas and concepts to keep in mind, not so much about what buttons to press. Um, there are some buttons you want to be pressing when you're dribbling, but for the majority of the time, you want to be thinking about what you're doing while you're dribbling, and not what buttons to be pressing while you're dribbling. Um, I would recommend watching my sprinting tutorial if you haven't yet already, because um, you don't want to be sprinting when you're dribbling. It, you just lose control of the ball too much. Don't you know? It's just something that you don't want to be doing. And then there's also my skill moves tutorial. You don't need to be doing skill moves all the time to successfully dribble. But it's something that can definitely help you, maybe with a ball roll to the left or right, or a step over. But for the um, for the most part, with dribbling, you can do it all with just a left analog stick, with just shielding the ball and making the correct plays while you actively think about what you're doing. And so um, to dive into it here, I just want to show you the controls real quick. If you go into settings and then basic controls, you come over here to movement. There's L1 without any direction which stops and faces the goal. Uh, you can dribble with this, it's extremely slow and controlled, but it is, um, I usually don't use it because if you lose control of the ball it switches your character and then you're you're just kind of all over the place. Um, you can also do L2 which is a protect or slow dribble, it's also a hard stop. Um, that's really good for shielding the ball from people and then if you want to stop the ball you can also do R2 which just stops the ball um, without any direction and then obviously with it with direction you're sprinting with R2 and then L2 and R2 held down together is face up dribbling uh, this is uh, what you're going to be using the majority of the time just because you're gonna be, it's going to turn you towards the goal you're going to have you're going to be slower you're going to have more control over the ball at your feet while you do it you can just let off R2 and you can still shield the ball at the same time so L2 is what you're going to be using a lot of the time to shield the ball and dribble the ball and keep it close to your feet and protect the ball and so just keep all that kind of in mind while I, while I run through these ideas here um, but it's not important to know the buttons necessarily L2 is probably the biggest one but for the majority of the time it's okay just to do L2 and then analog stick you know you don't need to throw in R2 for the majority of the time like right here this is R2 or L2 and R2 held at the same time I'm facing goal I'm rolling the ball and it's fairly simple, right? So you want to be thinking about where you're drilling the ball, not what buttons you're pressing here. So here's another L2, R2 um, dribbling right here. There's no, there's no skill moves in that at all. It's just holding those L2 and R2 down and then moving my character around. And these videos are just going to play out here a little bit. I mentioned earlier about sprinting, um, not doing it so much when you're dribbling because um, you definitely lose control of the ball a lot more and there's a clip here I'll, sh I'll, I'll show it to you once it gets up here that um, it shows you when you can sprint like when it's really good to sprint that was a good little hard stop there that I did you can just do a hard stop with L2 if you're sprinting and uh, you'll get a nice hard stop like that and the defender can run by you but for the majority of this time it's either L2 or R2 that I'm holding I'm either just holding L2 to shield the ball to protect the ball or I'm holding L2 and R2 at the same time to face up and to dribble the ball. Now, um, the ideas that you want to be thinking about is player movements because player movements in FIFA they're kind of uh, they're kind of wonky. And actually, this is a clip here with sprinting. So I'm not sprinting right now. I'm just coming up field, and then you can see right there I'm bursting out sprinting. Right, that's a good time to be sprinting. I'm still sprinting right here, still sprinting, and I slow down, and then I'm good to go. So that's the good times to be sprinting if you're going to be dribbling with the ball. You're, you're running just normal and then you burst out sprinting. Just don't sprint all the time. Because you also notice with first touches, when you receive a first touch and you're sprinting, your first touch is actually going to be really, really hard. And you'll probably lose control of the ball a lot more if you're sprinting. So lay off the sprinting there. That was actually a good little turn around there that I did. I still have possession of the ball here. Um, and that was just with L2 and R2. So just be thinking about player movements, about where you want to go, and um, kind of faking the defender out there. That was a good little step there that I did. 
Um, this is with my sub team and ultimate team. So they're, I mean, they're my subs. They're not exactly like my A team that I use all the time, you know. So it's definitely possible just to do um, dribbling without any real difficulty. So hopefully that tutorial helped you there. Um, if it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, sorry for my voice and just kind of being all over the place with this video. I've been sick. I'm trying to get it, trying to get it out for you. But uh, hopefully you liked it. If you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. Um, my next videos are gonna be kind of spaced out just because the holidays are coming up and I want to spend time with family and everything like that. So uh, definitely subscribe and uh, keep a lookout for them. Thanks for watching, you guys.